Okay, so I have an 84 Mustang 5 liter CFI fuel delivery system. I've been having problems with the choke setup with the car idling high when it's cold like it's supposed to, but not kicking down when it's supposed to after it warms up. After going through a bunch of troubleshooting steps, finally determined that I believe that the choke stove is not functioning anymore. Since you can't see what it's doing when it's mounted on the CFI, I took it off. I set up a simple setup, not very scientific, but it will tell me what's going on. Simple battery, car battery. This is an old one. It's half dead, but it's got enough juice in here to tell me if this choke stove is going to work. Positive and a negative. Connect it up to the positive terminal on the choke stove and the ground on the side. This has been connected now for about five minutes and that choke spring has not moved one bit. When I touch it with my finger, it doesn't feel in the least bit hot. It should be getting warm. So I'm certain that this one is bad. I'm going to put the phone down for a minute. I'm going to switch over to the new one that I got and we're going to see how that one behaves. Try and get the thing stabilized so you can see. I can see that it's moving. I don't know if it's showing up on the video. I'm trying to get a good stable position here. You should clearly see that that spring is now moving. It's floating to the right. And that's what it should be doing when it's on the car. So the other one is definitely dead. I'm not sure. What makes these things go bad? Because that other one, it's not that old. I put it on the car maybe four years ago. I would expect something like this to last longer than four years, especially since it's a motorcraft part and it doesn't appear to have any rust or corrosion on the inside. But this, I think, is the reason why my car has not been warming up properly and not uh, the, the fast idle not kicking down when it's supposed to.